American workers and families are at risk of overexposure to radio frequency radiation from wireless antenna sites at levels that are illegal, harmful, and shockingly high. Hundreds of telecommunications industry-operated antenna sites from Maine to California have been tested and found to be in gross violation, up to and in excess of 600% of the FCC's public RF exposure limits. These sites include rooftop, as well as apartment locations, where the general public, including children, can gain access, and where workers, such as roofers and HVAC personnel, can spend several hours a day in potentially hazardous RF environments. The EMR Policy Institute informed FCC Chairman Julius Janikowski in December 2011 that hundreds of sites had been found to be operating in flagrant violation of the agency's rules. The FCC Enforcement Bureau's mission is to investigate potential unlawful conduct to ensure consumer protection and strict compliance with public safety related rules. For 16 months, EMR Policy Institute sent more than 100 detailed complaint letters to the FCC Enforcement Bureau Chief, documenting evidence from a sampling of RF safety violations in 23 states across all regions of the U.S. As of March 2013, the EMR Policy Institute has received no response from the FCC that any enforcement action has been taken against any of our complaints. FCC policy allows wireless companies to self-report they are complying with legal RF limits. The FCC website provides no information, instructions, or procedures for the public or workers to report potential or actual violations of locations that may exceed the FCC limits. Despite the existence of hundreds of thousands of sites across the U.S., the FCC has issued only one wireless notice of violation prior to EMR Policy Institute's investigation. Is there collusion between the FCC and the wireless industry in turning a blind eye to violations? A possible cover-up? We have carefully documented an example of the FCC Enforcement Bureau supplying a U.S. Senator with misleading information regarding the safety of the Senator's constituents. Just how big is the FCC's enforcement problem? The American people have the right to know and the right to be protected. Until Congress holds the FCC accountable, Americans will remain at risk from harmful levels of radio frequency radiation at wireless sites across the country. Please contact your elected officials to demand that the RF radiation limits be enforced to protect all Americans. We have carefully documented our complete investigation in a two-part series, Wireless Industry Safety Failure. We invite you to educate yourself on the dangers of RF radiation from wireless sites by watching this two-part series. Thank you.